to solve for the value of x. Okay. What they have in common, the left-hand side of the equation is what? 2 to the power of root x. Now, when this is divided by this, we have 1. When this is divided by this, we have 1. And this is equal to 32 raised to the power of root x. Now, the intention of the video is actually to get the value of our x. Now, we are going to substitute back. Can, you, can we substitute back into this equation to prove that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side? So, I want you to watch to the end and see how we did that, okay? All right. So, 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So, we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of root x is equal to 32 to the power of root x. All right. Now, we write that 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of root x is equal to 32 to the power of root x can be written as 16 multiplied by 2, right? Everything to the power of root x. All right. Now, when you have something like this, you can distribute this power for both of them. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of root x is equal to 16 to the power of root x multiplied by 2 to the power of what? Root x. All right. Now, at this point, let us divide both sides of this equation by 2 to the power of root x. So divided by, I don't know if this will be enough. So let me come here. So we are going to have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of root x divided by 2 to the power of root x, right? Is equal to 16 to the power of root x divided by 2 to the power of root x. Okay, this one is multiplied by 2 to the power of root x as well. All right. Now, this we divide this. We have 2 is equal to 16 to the power of root x. Okay, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on that subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. You upload videos at least twice every day so you can tune in at your convenient time to check for new uploads, okay? Please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. Now we have 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4, right? Then we have root x. Now we have 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 4, we multiply this because when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, it is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can actually multiply this out to get 2 to the power of 4 root x. Okay, now we have the same base. We can just ignore the base and equate the power, right? See, it shows that the power is correct is equal, that the powers are equal. So we have 1 is equal to 4 root x. Now, we are going to divide both sides of this equation by 4 so that we can bring out root x, okay? So we are going to have 1 over 4 is equal to 4 root x over 4. Now, 4 we divide 4, we have 1 over 4 is equal to root x. Now, in order to get the value of x, we are going to square both sides of this equation, okay? Now, 1 squared will give us 1, and 4 squared will give us 16. Is equal to this, we remove this, and we have x. Now, this is the value of our x. Okay, now we need to substitute into this equation to show that our question is that we are right, okay? So, let's go ahead and do that. So, this is our equation. This is our equation. So we said that this is 2 multiplied by 2 root x, right? Is equal to 32 raised to the power of root x. Now, at this point, let us substitute the value of our root x, which is 1 divided by 16. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 16 is equal to 32 to the power of what? Okay, sorry, square root of, okay, 32 to the power of square root of 1 over what? 16. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 16 is 4, is equal to 32 to the power of square root of 1 is 1,
square root of 16 is 4. Okay? So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to, we can rewrite this as 16 to the power of 1 over 4, right? Multiplied by um, 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Since 16 times 2, we give us 32. All right. Then we go ahead and solve. We go ahead and solve. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to, now this can be written as 4th root of 16, right? So this same thing as 4th root of 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to, now 4th root of 16 is 2, right? Because you multiply 2 4 times to get 16. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 4. You can see that this is correct. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to turn on your notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.